Okay guys, so here's the extra video on graphing, or actually writing equations of piecewise functions given the graph. So the first thing to do is to understand what you're looking at. So I'm going to look at this line right here, and I need to write the equation of that line. And the equation of that line, I'm going to write it in y equals mx plus b form. Now in order for us to actually write that equation, you need the m value, and you also need the b value. Now the m value is pretty easy because you could count from one point to another. It goes down 2 over 1, which means that the slope is really negative 2. Okay. Now the b value, that's the y-intercept. So where does it cross the y-axis? So it crosses somewhere down here, obviously. Now what you need to do is visualize, extend it. So maybe if you get like a straight edge, like a piece of uh, uh, paper or your pencil maybe, you could uh, extend it and see where it crosses. So I just extended it with this blue line. Uh, with you on your paper, you probably want to do it with pencil and just keep going with the slope pattern. Instead of going uh, up 1 over and up 2 or up 2, 1 over, let's go backwards, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. So we know that this is the y-intercept value, the b value that we're looking for, which is also minus 2 on the y-axis. It's at negative 2. So once you know your m and your b, now you could actually write your slope-intercept form equation. Now, um, I'm just going to uh, move this, whoa, sorry, I'm going to move uh, this blue line to the side for now, and let me write the equation of this piece right here, y equals negative 2x minus 2. That's my equation. However, um, you don't want... I mean, that's the first piece. So let me uh, show you what I'm talking about. Let's go over here back to the piecewise function that we actually need to write, the f of x. Now, instead of writing y equals negative 2x minus 2, I'm not going to write y equals negative 2x minus 2 right here. Why? Because here it says f of x. That's like saying y equals. So I'm only going to write the negative 2x minus 2 part negative 2x minus 2. And of course, it's not the whole line. It's only the piece of the line. So I need to write down the condition. If x is what? Now let's think about that. Uh, the x value right here is negative 2. And obviously, this graph is right here, and it goes to the left. So it's less than the negative 2 value. So it's less than negative 2. So we need to go back over here and say if x is less than or equal to negative 2. Now, why did I put the or equal to? Because this is a solid dot. So it's a solid line underneath your inequality. So ladies and gentlemen, we have the first piece of our piecewise function. Okay. Let's move on to the second piece. From left to right, the second piece is down here. Okay. Now, if I were to, let me zoom in a little. If I were to pretend it was just a ever going line in both directions, what equation would that be? It would be y equals negative 1, okay? But then again, it doesn't go forever in both directions, so let me erase it. Let me keep the original. But it's still the line y equals negative 1. The only difference is it's from here to here, okay? So let me put a line right here. So this piece of the line is from negative 2 on the x all the way to positive 2 on the x. Okay, so we actually need to write that. Negative 2, positive 2, x in the middle. So let's go over here and put that as our domain once we actually write our second equation. Now the second equation is y equals negative 1. Now again, you're not going to write y equals because it's already y equals. All you're going to do is write down the negative 1 part. And then you're going to put if now let's write down the domain that we were talking about from negative 2 all the way to positive 2 and x in the middle. And of course, if you did put your negative on the, small, on the left side and, and your greater value on the right side, they're going to both be opening up to the right. However, if you notice, this first one is an open dot, so you need to leave that open. And this is a closed dot, so you need to close it with an or equal to right underneath it. That came out kind of ugly. Let me see if I could fix that or equal to. Oh, that's still ugly. Okay, you guys get the idea. Moving on to the third piece. Okay, the third piece will be this line right here. And again, it would be awesome if you could just get a line or a ruler or something and extend it 
and follow the same pattern to see where it's going to cross your y-axis, which will be your b-value. Anyhow, from here to here, it goes down 1 over 2. So if you go backwards, over 2, up 1, over 2, up 1, you'll know that your b-value happens to be 1, 2, 3. Okay? So the b-value is 3, and the m-value is, we said it was going down 1 over 2. So down 1 over 2 will be this one. Okay? So again, let me get this line out of the way because it's not really the whole line. It's just the piece. And let's write the equation of this one. It's going to be y equals, this is a negative 1 half x uh, plus 3. And what we're going to do is go back to the piecewise function and write that third line. Okay? Now, what do I mean by that third line? Well, I'm going to write down in this third section not the y equals part, because this already says y equals, just the negative 1 half x plus 3. So just the negative 1 half x plus 3. Negative 1 half x plus 3. And what's the restriction here? You're going to say if, if what? If x is, where is this at? This line starts here, and it goes that way forever. Now, this is the value of x equals 2. So it definitely has to be greater than, not greater than or equal to, because it's an open dot. So greater than 2. So you're going to say if x is greater than 2. And ladies and gentlemen, this is our answer. Let me box that in for you. This is our answer. And I hope you understand it now. It'll be on tomorrow's test.